have you ever had a crush on someone and then when you think about it, you can't quite actually figure out where the crush came from or even why you like this person because perhaps they are not your type completely? Well, the reason for this is because according to science, there are things that people do, behavioural traits or physical qualities about them, that we find attractive. Therefore, someone that we would never consider dating can elicit these behaviours and we like them. And this works for both ladies and dudes. So if you want to know more of the surprising things that you didn't actually think made you attractive, this is the video for you. You have musician traits. If you are someone that is able to hold a note or play the piano, the violin, or even just a couple of chords on an acoustic guitar, it's considered to be more attractive than the average person. And the reason for this is because, well, we presume that anyone that is musically gifted is a lot more confident and they have a specialized skill. They are one of a kind. So naturally, we respect that and we are very attracted to confident people. So if you are the type of person that is able to carry your musical instrument on your back, for example, your guitar, then you are going to get a lot more attention. However, if you play the sousaphone, you might struggle with this, maybe. Facial hair. Specifically, this is more persuaded to the guys and the ladies, unless that's your type of thing and that's what you're into. But facial hair on a guy makes us ladies feel that they are mature. It's the sign that they have physically grown up. And you don't have to be supporting a Father Christmas style beard. Just a little bit of stubble is enough. Having a sense of humour. Having a sense of humour means that you are confident. And like I said at the start of the video, we all want to be with confident people. And at the university in British Columbia, there was a speed dating event study and people were rated on their attractiveness and their humour. And they found out that people were rated as more attractive if they were funny. Be a good listener. Everyone loves to feel consoled and listened to. And if you are one of these types of people that really listens, and I mean truly listens when someone talks, people will find you very attentive and very attractive. Because listening is how we connect with other people. And if someone listens to us drone on about our emotions, we feel safe with them because we know that they have time for us. Smiling often. Gotta be honest, when I scroll through Instagram and I see all these super hot Instagram models and they all have that resting bee face where they don't really do any form of emotion. It's kind of like a, a frowny, sexy pout thing. Now I get it, it looks sexy, but it's kind of weird and it's very uninviting and it's not friendly because there's no smiles anymore. So naturally, the good old fashioned smile will make you a lot more attractive because when someone smiles, we feel that they are approachable, they are kind and very inviting. So if you have to keep up that Instagram model pose when you're out at a party, you might notice that not many people want to come over and talk to you. Eating spicy food. The University of Minnesota did a study of attraction of women eating different types of food and it was found that women became 20% more attractive when they were eating something spicy. So maybe walk around with a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos and let me know how your day goes. Your choice of outfit colour. Red is seen as a fiery, passionate sexual colour and if a woman wears it, she is perceived to be more attractive. It's a colour that stands out and immediately makes you look, well, just very hot. And you don't have to be supporting a full red outfit. It could be a statement piece, for example, red shoes, red nails, a red handbag or even red lipstick. And if you are wondering, for the guys, it's a little bit different. If a guy wears the colour blue, a lady is going to find him more attractive than if he wore any other colour. Embracing your scars. You know the phase chicks dig scars? Well, there's kind of some element behind it. Scars show us that someone has lived a life. And if we revert back to cave lady and caveman brains, then we feel that if someone has scars, they have a sign of bravery and the ability that they have survived a traumatic event, which is kind of hot. Sweating. Yeah, it's actually a thing. In a study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, researchers found that the male sweat glands actually release a pheromone that elicits a sexual feeling amongst females. Therefore, if you sweat, women find you more attractive. Crazy. The baby bear amount of alcohol. According to a study, the perfect amount of alcohol to drink is 250 milliliters, which is eight liquid ounces. And because this means you are in a fun state, 
You've had a drink, people can obviously smell the drink on your breath, but you want completely overboard where you can't string sentences together. And this approach of just being a little bit tipsy, as weird as it sounds, means we perceive someone to be more attractive. And that's because alcohol does become a truth serum. Therefore, if someone is talking to you and you've noticed that they've had a drink, you feel a bit more attracted to them because what they're saying is true. This one is a little bit crazy, and that is speaking into someone's right ear. If you can talk into someone's right ear first, then the person will have a higher chance of actually wanting to listen to you, which may make you a little bit more attractive because they want to give you their direct attention. Now, this is due to the right hemisphere of the brain doing something a little bit different with an emotional connection, as opposed to being spoken to in the left ear. Making your date feel scared. Now, yeah, this sounds very crazy and I'm going to cut it short so that no one goes crazy in the comments below. But if you can make you and your date feel a little bit scared together, you actually build a better chance of arousal. And that's because we mistake the feelings of fear for arousal in the brain. And that makes sense because our bodies do similar things. For example, our heart rate increases and we have a shortness in breath, which is what happens when we are fearful and also aroused. And some great ways that you can use this to your advantage is to go to a theme park together on a date, watch a scary movie together, or watch the semi-finals of the England match. Being in a group. Naturally, when we see someone attractive, they become, well, even more attractive in a group situation because it shows that this person is emotionally stable, they are able to have relationships with other people, and it also gives us that fear of missing out if we see someone doing something fun in a friend group. Talking with your hands. People that talk with their hands come across as being better to communicate. It shows that they are trying to get someone to understand their state of mind, and if you can come across more confident, well, you're very much more attractive. Displaying positive self-image. In a conversation, if you can talk about how you have an amazingly high self-esteem and that you don't talk down about yourself, so that means no self-deprecating humour, and you don't talk about your negative traits, you come across more attractive. Having a hair tie around your wrist. This applies to both ladies and also guys. If a lady has a hair tie around her wrist, and apparently that makes her more attractive. Not really sure where this came from, but I think I can agree with it because it works for guys too. If a guy has a piece of jewellery around his wrist, could be a bracelet or even a watch, it's a sign of masculinity that females love. Being kind to strangers. If you are able to say something nice to a waiter, for example, I really like your haircut, looks good on you, or you open the door for a stranger, pick up some trash off the street, this actually gives signals to this other person that you are kind, humble and friendly, and this makes you lots more attractive. Strong eye contact. Engaging in strong eye contact frequently with someone makes you more attractive on a psychological level. When we lock eyes with someone for more than three seconds, it starts to build an arousal feeling. And this is something that we don't want to do with strangers because it's a little bit weird. Therefore, if you can actually engage in a deep staring contest with someone that you fancy and they do it back to you, you will both likely feel a little bit more aroused. Therefore, you find each other a little bit more attractive get into the end of the video that really means a lot and something that you can do to really make my day is to subscribe to the membership on our channel the link in the description bar below will tell you more about what that entails but specifically you get your name up on our super fan board right here these are some amazing people that support the channel every single month if you appreciate the amount of content that we are pumping out on a weekly basis then this is a great way to say thank you i really hope you have an amazing day see you in the next video.